Hey guys, another do-it-yourself day. Uh, today we're going to be uninstalling the stock exhaust as well as the resonator, which is that big hefty box um, under the swing arm that weighs a ton and is basically useless unless you're measuring emissions. Um, to do this, you're going to have to remove your skid plate. Mine's already off. I've got a Black Dog Cycle Works skid plate on there. So if you um, have, haven't switched it out, See my video on, on the install for the Black Dog. It'll show you how to take yours off. It's pretty easy. It's just nine bolts. If you've got an aftermarket, well, then you should know how to take it off anyway. But all right, let's get to it. You're going to be removing the heat shields. Um, it is, should have looked before, shouldn't I? It's a T25. So two bolts on this piece and then just the one on here so back in here you can see the clamp that uh, that attaches the, the muffler onto the uh, resonator box um, mine actually had, had a weird angle so um, it may be tough to reach but you can get it I'm using a, a six inch extension with a three inch extension and it's a uh, T45. Loosen that up. Loosen it all the way. Pull out that bolt. You will be reusing this along with the clamp. Just in case you haven't worked with one of these clamps before, the way it works, um, there's two sides. This one has a little lip on it. It just connects in there. You can see it'll kind of hold itself. Usually what you have to do is put the side of the lip on first and then put the other side on. Then this bolt just threads in and as it tightens it clamps both sides together like that. So easy easy to remove once you got this clamp off here then you just move up and release this bolt here should be fairly tight and then once you get it decently loose you can just hand turn it out without the the wrench i'm gonna put this down do the rest of it um just because i don't want to drop the exhaust so once you have that bolt all the way out, the exhaust just slides right out. And if you're a real weight weenie, this is about as light as you can get for a slip-on. <laughs> Alright, next we're going to be removing the resonator box in here. By the way, I have to say, in this form, the Norton actually looks pretty sweet. It's kind of like a uh, dumbed-down <laughs> adventure bike. Maybe someday I'll have to rock it like this. Anyway, back to the project. There is a bolt on this side behind the inlet, or I guess the outlet, sorry. Um, you'll need to take off. There is another one that's kind of hidden. Um, you can just <laughs> see it through here behind the spring, right there. And then it looks like there may be another one on the other side. You'll obviously have to loosen this clamp as well. So um, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to do that, those bolts. And then if there's a, other ones that I've missed, I'll let you know. Clamp, bolt in here, and then the bolt on the other side. I'll just show it to you real quick. But uh, this is the easy one. Boop. And there may be something down here where um, the center stand is. I just can't see it, so we'll find out. All right, let me get those loosened, I'll be back. Hopefully I caught that on camera, but if you spin this around, it'll be a lot easier to take off than the way it is stock, so. You're going to be reusing them, so save it. Mm. 
There's a bush in it. Don't want that in the chain. All right, I've decided there's no way to access that bolt that's in there without actually removing the foot stand. Unfortunate because the black dog is also mounted in there now. It probably would have been easier before I did the skid plate, but oh well. So we're gonna take apart this. I think that's a T50 if I remember correctly. And then these two are T45s. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's it. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so once you remove this T50, and then the two T45s, um, you can take this off. Notice it is still connected, right? You've got your brake fluid reservoir um, and some brake fluid coming in and out of this. So support it, don't just let it hang. I'm obviously holding it. But now we can get to this, this bolt right here, the dirty looking one, and remove that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Again, there's a that rubber grommet in there. I'm gonna leave that for now. We may need to remove it though. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rest this back on and I'm gonna thread this in a couple of turns. We may need to access this area again, so not gonna bolt everything back up quite yet. All right, bad news. So, let's see if I can get this. Unfortunately, there is a bolt right there. So, in order to get it, we're gonna have to do the same thing we did to the other side, to this side. Which means, we can't use the kickstand because that's all mounted in there. So, it's a good thing I've got a motorcycle jack. <laughs> but if you don't, add it to the list of tools you need. I gave up on the, the jack because there's really nothing to jack up now. And uh, decided, you know what? It's an ADV bike, what the hell am I thinking? <laughs> I'll just lay it down on its side, so. Boom, let's get this taken care of. All right. This bolts out, this bolts out. This is free. Look at this little guy back here. Another hidden bolt. Sometimes I wonder if all my aftermarket pieces are just getting in my way, but it looks like Mr. Vanash is gonna have to come out, or at least this bolt's gonna have to come out. So, you may not have to do this part. All right. So, I, I only had to loosen up this bolt. Just enough to get this loose. This is uh, loose as well. And then I finally could get in there. So I am hoping that Husky didn't, didn't put another bolt on here. Oh my God. It's like the Holy Grail. We did it. 2,963 grams, six pounds, eight ounces. Dude, oh, 79 grams. All right, and now your bike has a big gaping hole in it. So, time to put this back together. Depending on what you're installing, the next steps could be different. Um, I'm gonna make another video on the Tecmo mid-pipe and the Tecmo uh, exhaust. So if you want to see that, great. But uh, yeah, otherwise, you, you definitely shed some pounds off your bike right there. 